Just want to make a quick Jetta Cut uh, video. I had some requests for showing how you actually take a design and make the G code, the cutting file. So I thought it'd be uh, uh, something with the straight wing would be the easiest to do first. And later on we can do uh, something with a swept wing, like a flying wing. So figured the little micro sky hunter was a good example, something easy we could go through the complete build. Although in this video, we'll just quickly show the jetty cut software. Um, Andrew has a nice uh, little video where he d has all the dimensions. And so I've written those dimensions down. The wing is uh, 800 millimeters wide, although we're going to do it in two parts. So it'll be a 400 millimeter section. The uh, cord is 120 millimeters and there's no sweep. And that is basically all you need to know aside from picking which airfoil and you don't need to know how to pick an airfoil to design a wing so I'm just going to leave that out that's something you can research you know in RC groups or, or wherever else on the internet so go to jetty cut I have it installed let's pull it up here so I've already set up my table obviously I've done a lot of testing I know what cutting speeds and all that stuff um, I've I've told it that I'm going to be doing, uh, I want it to cut out G-code. It can actually control the CNC machine itself, but I'm just having it kick out G-code because I use Linux CNC on a separate computer to actually control my CNC. Um, other than that, you just need to tell it uh, the distance between the wires, how far, uh, the, the, how far the X can travel, the, the depth of your table. Um, and I'll go into another video why sometimes you want to change this for quicker cuts and so now we'll just go up here to do a wing cut and the first thing it wants uh, to know is which airfoil you're going to use so let's go to where I keep all my DAT files And I think we're just going to use the Clarky, the Clark Y. It's going to be a symmetrical wing. So if you had one, two, you could use a different airfoil on the wing tips. But it's going to be symmetrical, straight wing. Also, because it's a straight wing, you don't really need to save out a left or make a left and a right. The straight wing is the same all the way across, so that'll save us some time there. Uh, the root cord um, is 120 millimeters, but what I've learned with the CNC is you want to add about 10 or 10 percent, five to 10 percent onto that because it gets so fine in the back, back around this the trailing edge that it's so thin you can't use it, and you end up cutting it off anyways. So instead of 120, I'm just going to do 130 millimeters. Um, now skin property, thickness. The hot wire has a kerf. That is, it melts out. If, you, if you're using a razor blade, there's no kerf because you're actually splitting the material in half. When you're using a saw, usually you lose amount of material as, th as thick as the saw blade. Um, so think of it like that when the metal wire is radiating heat and not only is melting when it touches it melts around it so i know that it's about about 0.5 maybe one is what i what i usually use if i was doing a swept wing the slower side which is the wing tip i would even add that a little bit more and then the start height is this center line how high up does it need to go in the foam to get to that center line? And I'm going to be using uh, two inch, um, or I'm sorry, yeah, two inch thick foam. And so I want it to enter at 25. Um, maybe I'll adjust that. Maybe I'll try and fit two wings in there. But for now, we'll put 25. And then the release height is how far up above the foam does it need to move before it's out of foam so it can do fast movements because it's no longer in foam. So we'll just leave that there for now. And cut 
check the uh, cut wizard. And you can also add things like twist and that kind of stuff, but this is just a straight wing. Now we're going to go to the cut preview. And here you could kind of confirm that this thick of foam, the wing will actually fit inside of there, which it does. We don't really need to look at that too much. Let's take a look at where the cut preview ribs manager. I'm just missing it here. Oh, here we go. Cutting wizard. So this is kind of strange. Took me a while to figure out this scale, this number here. That's actually the width, um, the span of foam across the wingspan or maybe the half span. Um, so in this case, it again doesn't really matter because it's a straight wing, but we'll just put in 400. Um, we have no sweep, but if you wanted to, you could put in sweep, but again, it's a straight wing. And we are going to be placing this directly in the center of the table. This box represents my table. Now, that's basically it. The cutting wizard screen is where you put in the wingspan and the sweep and, and tell it where you're positioning the block of foam on the table. This screen here is where you give it the airfoil and the root cord and if you wanted even the tip cord and it's this is how you place the foam on the table in a in a vertical axis <clears throat> and that is really all there is to it is once you've gone through the options and you've told it you know the physical dimensions of your table the only other thing that you need to do to actually get your file out click on cut and click OK and it's going to save your file out and that really is it now there's going to be a lot of fiddling depending on what foam you have and to get the correct speed but you can just come back in here and change a setting and export it out so in the next video I'll actually just uh, place the foam on the table show cutting it out and stuff and we'll get building on it